Well, for these two sides, the long road to glory, they hope, begins right here. It is the first match in the Europa League. Stay right here on EA TV for all the live action. An atmosphere of excitement and anticipation here in North London at the home of Arsenal. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. And what we have on the menu for you is match day one action in the UEFA Europa League. It's Arsenal and they take on PSV. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an excited match. And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Granite Jacker plays with Thomas Partey in central midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And the starting 11 for PSV. Well, it's a 4 3 3 with two out and out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. It is the opening act. Europa League group stage, match day one, underway. Couldn't hang on to it, PSV. Gustil. Madueke. Well timed tackle. Promising sequence. Oh, in with a chance. And a goal to open the scoring. A very bright start to this one. So underway again here, 1-0 the score. Is it going to be? It's got to be! And he's fired it against the post. And keeper's ball in the end. Well, look at the relief out there. That looked a certain goal, didn't it?
Well, had that gone in, they would be in complete control of this game. As it is, they're still going to be a bit nervy. Yes, so near indeed. But now they've got to concentrate on keeping their defensive shape. Anwar El Ghazi takes aim. They just couldn't stay in front. And now this match is all square. Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. So, a level contest, 1-1. One, one. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. Able to clear the danger, at least for now. Joey Fairman. And do they mean business on this occasion? A disappointing end to the move. Tidy on the ball. Oh, they've given him too much space. Can he give them the lead? And the challenge, Chris, and the referee has pointed to the spot. A penalty it is, and a chance for them to forge ahead. And on the back of that decision, now it's a caution. Well, it's a tight call, but in the end, I think he's got it right. A penalty and a yellow card. This to give them the lead again. Goal! Taking aim from the spot and finding the target. away again it's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand and a good looking ball a tale of four goals in this match now 3-1 it is Anwar El Ghazi and De Jong on the ball is it going to be and doing all he can to grab his second of the game well he's been a real live wire today a constant threat to this back line Delivering it. Oh, a very fine header, but it wouldn't go in for him. The corner kicks keep on coming. So the corner played into the box. for him.
are back with the action and Arsenal sprinting away with ease. Olivier Boscalier. So two minutes to be added on at the end. Oh, surely. And that is defending of the highest order. Well, that's going to be all for the first half here at the home of Arsenal. And the second half begins in this Europa League group stage match day one contest. Noni Madueke. And Mauro Junior with it. Is it going to be? And they bought themselves a bit of time. And a goal! There he is at the double. They just can't subdue him. Well, here's the replay. He does well to find that bit of space in the box. And then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off. That's a good goal. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Well, that's a super ball over the top. Now he's got to stay calm. Terrific save. Just a reminder, we have more absorbing action from the Premier League coming your way here on EA TV. It's Arsenal taking on Brighton. That looks a really entertaining game. Two good teams with two excellent coaches. I can't wait for that one to come round. Opportunity for them to get back into the game. Well, in the end, it was rather straightforward for the goalkeeper, Stuart. Well, he has to do better there. That's a really poor finish. El Ghazi. El Ghazi. And it's played into the centre. Oh, and it goes! Another goal! And I'll tell you what, the impossible is becoming quite possible. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick and his movement so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Well, how about this? 4-3. Ben White to be replaced by number six. It might be. And the challenge crisp and clean. Look at De Jong. And the ball's gone. Oh, in with a chance. Extraordinary scoreline. Does this game have more goals in it? And a substitution in the offing. Party. This might be ideal for the counter.
chance to run at them. Is it going to be? And a goal! If there were any remaining doubts, that will settle the issue. If there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. El Ghazi. This looks more than decent. Superb save. Well, he should score, of course, but that's a brilliant save. Well, the short corner routine. El Ghazi. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. So full time it is, and a morale boosting three points on the board to begin their European campaign. Yeah, that's a good win and a vital three points. Another win next time out, and they'll be in a great position. Building to a crescendo all week, and very shortly it will be for real. We have all the action for you live. And hello from one of the newer venues in English football, the Amex Stadium on the south coast. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary box, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Brighton and Hove Albion versus Arsenal. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Adam Lallana and number 18, Danny Welbeck. Good luck. 
And a look at the lineup for Brighton. Well, the way they're set up, it's vital that they don't let the opposition switch the play. They must lock them down one side of the pitch, but they should have an advantage in midfield. Here are the starters for Arsenal. Thomas Partey starts with Granit Xhaka in the centre of the pitch. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And they kick off here. White, Jacka with it, Martin Odegaard, well not the greatest pass, easily intercepted, he's very adept at protecting the ball, he's in with a chance, and a goal, now they have their opener, and now they can celebrate. One nil then. Might be able to get in behind the defence. And doing all he can to grab his second of the game. Well, he's been a real live wire today. A constant threat to this back line. Romarinho. Enoch Mwepu. Well back. March. Well back. Well, the attack carried promise, but petered out. Martin Erdegaard. Jacker with it. Thomas Partey. Promising attack, this. He takes aim. And it's two for him today. So the ball rolling again at 2 0. Played over. And the keeper there to make sure nothing untoward happened. Welbeck. Possession one. There's a slide draw pass. That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. Over it comes. Not really the ideal clearance. And a time for calm on the ball. Romarinho. Ball played nicely. Turning inside. Where's he going to go? And there it is! Still life left in this game. And they have the momentum now. Well, 
this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. Well, the referee blows the whistle, and that is going to be all for the first 45 here at the Amex. Second half underway, and Arsenal looking to build upon a largely positive first half performance. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Substitution for Arsenal. Coming off the pitch, number four, Ben White. Coming onto the pitch, number six, Gabriel. Trossard. Enoch Mwepu. Can they create something from here? A wonderful intervention. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change. Trossard. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Well, just listen to the fans. They know this is a big chance here. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Taking care of business defensively here. Lalana, well back! Oh, a goal! The equaliser! They completely changed the equation! Well, it's great awareness of space in the box. And then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. Well, it has taken a Herculean effort for them to get back to level pegging under these trying circumstances. Gabriel Sané who continues his run could be goalkeeper doing his job getting the touch Over it comes. Oh, a disappointing effort, making the keeper's life a bit too easy. And there it is, the full-time whistle. Well, they can't be separated, and goals very much part of the equation. Stuart, as always, interested to get your final analysis. Well, Derek, it was a really good game between two evenly matched teams. Both had their moments, but neither side really deserved to lose this one.